Here's a video on the extra hydraulics I've added to my Mahindra 1538. So this would be for the 1533s, 1538. These are the Mitsubishi uh, model tractors. So this one has a loader, as you can see. So from the loader, um, you're gonna need the power beyond, or basically the hydraulic at full pressure that's out. And that's, that's this one where the leaf is right here. So this is the power beyond. This is your, sorry, bad, bad angle. This is the original pipe. This is power beyond for all your auxiliary hydraulics. Another view from this side, factory one, and then the extra one. So this is in the kind of the, uh, the back of the valve or the part of the valve facing the center of the tractor. So it comes out, as you can see, goes up into, I have a third function on the front. So this is an electric over hydraulic valve up in here. So there's that. Take a good view of that. So that valve um, works the grapple or the, the snow plow in the front, whatever you have. And then hydraulic fluid goes in and out of that, just power beyond in, power beyond out, basically. Um, and so that goes out of that, and then it controls my top tilt and hydraulic rippers. That's what these three levers are for here. There's all the hoses for that. And those tuck down and go through next to the seat. And then I've got a nicer setup for um, all the controls here, that little plate. And then the return line, basically where the excess pressure and fluid is dumped, uh, goes right in underneath the top of the seat, or excuse me, right underneath the seat. And that fitting, let it focus is right there. That's the return that you're looking at with the 90 on it. And that hose comes out and comes up into the, into the valve. If you just had the third function and you didn't have the rear top and tilt, um, obviously it would just come right out of that uh, electric over hydraulic third function valve and go right underneath the, the top of the seat. That's your return line there. To get this seat off, it's four bolts. It takes the seat and the bracket and everything. So one, two, and then the other two are in the back. Three and four. And then before you lift it out, you've got to undo the, uh, there's a switch underneath there for the, the seat safety switch. So, and kind of backtracking a little bit, if you do have the grapple, it's easy enough to make those kits. The electric over hydraulic valves are fairly common. And you wire that up and get this from this grip from Scorpion. This is open close or left to right, basically, uh, on your hydraulic valve there. That, that controls the valve. And then as far as the plumbing, Again, since my, since my control valve is back underneath here, kind of hidden away, these lines come up underneath the floorboard, and then I put 90s on them. And I just tried to run them as factory as I could, so they've got the same wrap. They go down the loader arm, and they come out the loader arm, just where the other ones do, and then into this a uh, little bracket here. It's welded on to the cross member cover plate there. Hope that helps you guys. Good luck.